day everyone! Today, we are going to solve supplementary problems in Chapter 1, Properties of Fluids. From the Book of Gelisania, Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulics, 4th edition. So here we have Problem 1-29. A vertical cylindrical tank with a diameter of 12 meter and a depth of 4 meter is filled with water to the top, with water at 20 degrees Celsius. If the water is heated up to 50 degrees Celsius, how much water will spill over? Unit weight of the water at 20 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius is 9.79 kN per meter cube and 9.69 kN per meter cube, respectively. So first, we are going to identify our given. So here, we have the diameter of a vertical cylindrical tank, which is 12 meter, and its height is 4 meter. And if the water is at 20 degrees Celsius, it has a specific weight of 9.79. And if water is heated up to 50 degrees Celsius, it has a specific weight of 9.69 kN per meter cube. Now that we are done identifying our given, what we need to do is to identify what formula should be used. In our problem, it is looking for how much water will spill over or the amount of volume displaced. And we all know that to solve for the volume displaced, we need to have the value for total volume and the remaining volume. So first, we are going to solve for the total volume by using the formula for a volume of a cylinder which is pi r squared h. And in our problem, it is given that the diameter of vertical cylindrical tank is 12 meter and its height is 4 meter. So all we have to do is to convert the diameter into radius by dividing it to 2 which is equal to 6 meter. So substituting the value of our given, we will have V is equal to pi times 6 meter squared times 4 meter which is equal to 452.389 meter cube. Now that we are done calculating for our total volume, we can now proceed in solving for our remaining volume. However, in our problem, only the specific weight is given. So what we need to do is to find first the value of our weight by using the equation for specific weight and then deriving it, we will have weight is equal to specific weight times volume. Substituting the value of our given, the specific weight here is referring to the specific weight of water at 20 degrees Celsius which is 9.79 kN per meter cube multiplying it by the total volume which is 452.389 meter cube then we will have the value of 458.41 kN and then why it is kN because we cancel the meter cube that's why its unit is kilonewton. After that, after solving the value of our weight, we can now get the value of our remaining volume. By deriving the formula for the specific weight, we will have V is equal to weight over specific weight. Substituting the value of our given, we have the weight which is 458.41 kilonewton. Dividing it by the specific weight of water, at 50 degrees Celsius, which is 9.69 kN, then we can now cancel kN. Then we will have a remaining volume of 447.72 meter cube. Now that we have already the value for our remaining volume, as well as the total volume, we can now get the value of our volume displaced by using the formula change in V is equals to V2 minus V1. So for our V2 which is the total volume, 452.389 minus the remaining volume which is the V1 which is 447.72 meter cube, then we will have a volume displaced of 4.67 meter cube. Therefore, the amount of water will, will be spilled is 4.67 